What's up guys, this is Kurt, and today we are gonna be answering yet another question. What if Senorita was by Drake? I know what you guys are thinking right now. This is my fourth Senorita video. I have a problem. I'm seeking help, I'm getting treatment, my friend scheduled an intervention. But come on, it's in your Rita. Can you blame me? We need to find out what it would sound like if it were by Drake. The world needs to know. Hey. Guys, we need to turn Senorita into a song that you can dance badly to. Sadly, Drake's dancing is still much better than my dancing. You might see some of my dancing later in this video. All right, let's get started here. Our first challenge is gonna be the rhythm, how we convert Senorita, was like, I love it, into like a Drake vibe. Drake songs have like a totally different groove and rhythm. I don't wanna get too like numbers heavy, but Senorita is 120 beats per minute and every Drake song is like 70 to maybe at most 100 beats per minute. So yeah, Drake songs are slower. So Kurt, are we just gonna slow down the song? No. That's what I want them to think. Actually guys, what we're gonna be doing is speeding up the song and then making it half time. Let me show you what I mean. Let's get a beat going. But first, before we add a beat, you know we need something. Yeah. You guys probably thought I was gonna put on glasses again. But nope, it's a Drake song, I need a hoodie. Don't worry guys, the vest is still safe. All right guys, now every Drake song uses pretty much the same kick and snare. That's it. You just need those two sounds. Let's get this beat going. Yeah. Ah. Uh. All right guys, now that we got the beginning of that beat, we need something for the harmony, something to just hold down the music behind the beat. Okay, now Drake does something a little bit different from some other rappers. Other rappers might use like a lead, like some synth, or like a plucky, but for most Drake songs, there's some like keyboard thing, or like an organ, or maybe it's even a piano. Let me show you what I mean. Like here he's got that electric piano, and God's plan just starts with an organ. And for Hold On, We're Going Home, it's just this like keyboard pad the whole time. Now we could try to play something on piano, but do you think that Drake would use a real instrument? In the words of Drake, nah. Okay guys, we're gonna see what sounds we have on my computer here. Here's a little weird organ thing. Oh, it's not bad. That's it. That is the sound of Drake. Ah, uh, hey. Two hours later. Love it when you call me senorita. Wish I could pretend I didn't need to. Every touch is- All right, that's not a bad start, but you know it's on a Drake song unless we get some bass going on in there. Let's do it. No, we are not gonna play an actual bass. This is a Drake song. <laughs> Guys, I just realized what we need. <laughs> we need a sneeze. Let's tune it. We need a hey. Like that background. All right, now to be fair, most recent Drake songs don't have haze in them, but I'm thinking of like that hay from start from the bottom, now we're here. Hey, let me show you what I'm talking about. All right, let's record some ice. Hey, 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 hey. All right, guys, I stacked all those haze together. Here's how it sounds. Yeah, not too bad, but I want to sound a little more like I mean business, so let's pitch it down. Yeah, let's hear that in the track. All right, that's feeling pretty good, but we're still missing that like trebly percussion that. So let's add some hats. <laughs> not those hats, not those hats. Ah, <laughs> so many hats. Okay, it's sounding pretty good, but I want to add this Drake thing. Sometimes in Drake tracks, he does this thing where the track just like, sounds like it goes underwater. I want to do that. So here's what the track sounds like right now. Now here's after we go underwater. Wait, maybe that's why Drake tracks all go underwater. Because he started from the bottom. He's going back where he came from. Drake's a fish. Okay, now the thing about Drake, when he sings, it sounds like he's just too lazy to sing the whole word. He just like removes letters from words. Senorita has too many letters. We need to remove some letters here. Okay, so first line. I love it when you call me Senorita. I love it when you call, I love when you call me Senorita. I wish I could pretend, but every, every, okay, nope. 
Er, but er touches ooh la la la. Ooh, I should be running, running, running. Guys, I think we Drakeified these lyrics. This is looking like a Drake song now. Love when you call me, senorita. Wish I could pretend I didn't need ya. All right, this track is almost done. I just want to add that moment that Drake has in some of his songs where the track just like totally changes and you get like this B section. All I need is a one synth. All right, guys, I think the track is sounding ready. Let's get Josh in here and we're going to record some vocals. By the way, guys, if you aren't following me on Instagram, I'm at Kurt Schneider. Go check it out. All right, Josh, you ready to get your Drake on? Let's do it, man. All right, now the thing is, it's gotta be like so chill, you know, Sanria. Just a lot of sauce and a lot of swag. I like it, let's I'm, get it. I'm ready, man. Land in Miami, the air was hot from summer rain, sweat dripping off me, before I even know her name, la la la. You just give me like another like, yeah. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> <laughs> Can you actually like do a take where like, you just like took some NyQuil and it's like slowly drifting in and you're like, you're like... I love it when you call me senorita Wish I could pretend I didn't need you But every time I do la 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 But wait, what if you're just like so lazy You just only say two la's instead of three La la That's yeah. right If I know Yes! Music video time, you ready? Let's do it, man. Woo, let's do it! All right, actually, before we get to the music video, huge thanks to our sponsor for this video, Filmora 9. Filmora is an awesome brand new video editor, and I'm gonna show you how I use it on this video. All right, spoiler alert, I'm actually Kurt from the future. I already filmed this video, and we brought it into Filmora here, and we're gonna edit some stuff up. Let me show you how easy this is. I wanna put a title in the beginning. They got so many presets to choose from. I'm just gonna pick this one here. Let's see what it looks like. That looks so cool. I'm just gonna change the text up. I'm gonna put Senorita on top, Josh's name on the bottom. That looks good already. That was like two clicks. All right, guys, I wanna color this up a little bit. We're just gonna double click on this, use some preset. <laughs> they have a preset called Harry Potter. Let me mess with a couple little things. That's looking good. All right, let's just drop some flares onto me doing some bad dancing. Yes! Oh my God, was this filmed by Michael Bay? <laughs> Let me just use some transition going into the chorus. All right, I'm gonna just pick this one called Blind. See what it does. Ooh, that looks cool. Guys, it's really not hard to make stuff look super pro when you're using this, so go check them out. I'll put a link to download this down below. Go show them some love. All right, now let's go back in time to the music video. If you think it looks cool, check out Filmora. And I 
right, guys, if you like that, hit that like button, subscribe, and ring that bell so you know when more videos like this come out. Check out the link down below to try film more out totally for free. And guys, leave any comments in the comment section. Let me know your crazy ideas for the next videos. I definitely check those out, and I got some ideas coming up that I think are going to be pretty fun. So I'll see you guys then. Now watch the next video. Peace.